What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another quick video. In this video, I'll show you how to move Battlefield 4 from Steam to Origin. Why would you want to do this? Well, different download sizes for updates, different friend lists, etc, etc. Whatever your reason may be, this is the video that you're looking for. Do note that you do need to own this game on both platforms, which you can do through the use of something like EA Play. Here I have Battlefield 4 on Steam, and inside of EA Play here, you'll see I have two copies of Battlefield 4, one through Steam and another one through EA Play, and of course when I bought the game physically back in the day. So let's go ahead and move my installation from Steam to Origin with minimal downloading, if any at all. To begin, first of all, we need to start downloading Battlefield 4 on Origin and pick a place to install it. I would highly recommend placing it on the same drive that you already have it installed on. That way, when you're cutting and pasting between directories, it moves instantaneously rather than slowly copying from one drive to another. For me, I've got Battlefield 4 in eGames Steam, Steam Apps Common inside of here. So I'll be installing it on eGames Origin right over here. I'll select folder and then leave everything as is. I'll install all the DLCs. That way I can move them across from Steam as well. I'll click next. I've read next. And now the download for Battlefield 4 will begin. All we need to do is wait a couple of seconds into the installation and then quit out of Origin without pausing the download. So click Origin in the top left, followed by exit. Now that Origin has been closed, we can start moving the files across. So I'll navigate across to my origin folder here, Battlefield 4, and you can see all of the half downloaded files in here. What we're gonna do is select everything and then hit delete on our keyboard and enter. Once we've done that, navigate across to Steam and open up the game's directory. So I'll right click Battlefield 4, manage, browse local files. Awesome. Now we have these Steam files on the left and the origin files on the right hand side. What we need to do is move the files from my Steam installation to the origin installation simply by cutting and pasting them. As you can see, because it's on the same drive, it happened basically instantly. Now we shouldn't launch up origin quite just yet, otherwise it'll try and install the Steam version rather than the Battlefield 4 origin version. And of course you don't want that if you're moving it from one platform to another. So what we need to do is delete the Steam specific files, that way it recognizes it's the origin version. Don't worry, you don't have to do any extra Googling, I've done some calculations here for you. These files are the files that are different and the same between the origin installation on the left and the Steam installation on the right. As you can see, some of these folders are write only, meaning that they only exist in the Steam installation. These are the folders and files we need to get rid of. So we need to go ahead and select overlay, Hold control and we'll be selecting debug.log, eastore.ini, install script.vdf and steam app ID. Install script, steam app ID. Hit delete on your keyboard and enter. Now that we've deleted these major files, I would recommend going through these smaller files as well. The installer folder over here, followed by DLC, has all of the different DLC packs for the game. If we expand each folder, followed by installer, you'll see that there's only an install log that's different between these, and inside of the support folder, pack folder itself, we have install script.vdf. As far as I know, this is the only file we need to get rid of in all of the different DLC packs. So, I'll open up installer, DLC, followed by xpack0, and I'll delete install script.vdf. Then I'll do the same for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 doesn't have one, 6 doesn't have one, 7 doesn't have one. Awesome. Then you'll also notice that inside of the installer folder, we have lock and origin, which are only on the Steam version. So we'll go ahead and delete those two. Installer, lock and origin, we'll delete them and hit yes. And minimizing out of that, we have the PB folder for Punkbuster, and there's no real differences here. Same goes for the support file. These are just different help files and text files. We don't need to worry about them. Anyways, now that we've gone ahead and prepared Battlefield 4 to be moved from Steam to Origin, we can go ahead and fire up Origin now that we've moved the files across and prepared them. So firing up Origin once again, then heading across to My Game Library, you'll see that Battlefield 4 is currently paused. Don't worry, don't do anything. What you need to do is wait for the download to automatically begin once again, and we can expand the download down here to see exactly what's going on. At this point, you should see that it's downloading a hell of a lot faster than your actual internet speed. If I go ahead and open up Task Manager, we can verify this. As you can see, Origin is using a lot of my disk 
and barely any network. And that is of course reflected on the performance tab as well, where my hard drive is maxed out and my internet is barely being used for anything more than just Spotify. What it's currently doing is running through all of the files on my disk and verifying that they're correct. If anything's found to be different, it'll be re-downloaded and replaced. So all we have to do is wait for Battlefield 4 to finish verifying, and then it'll go ahead and verify all of the DLCs too, including File and Stand, Legacy Operations, China Rising, Community Operations, Naval Strike, Night Operations, Dragon's Teeth, and finally Second Assault. There's a hell of a lot of them. So I'll simply wait for all of these to finish, and then we'll be able to launch up the game just like we would have if we installed it on Origin the first time around. There we go, everything's now been verified, we can go ahead and launch up the game as you would usually. I'll click in it, and then click play. Now after quickly syncing with the cloud, you'll see that as soon as my game launches, I still have all of my progression and everything else that I had on the Steam version, as long as I'm signed into the same EA account. There we go, you can see the origin icon in the bottom right as it was loading, and now we're on the main menu of Battlefield 4. But anyways, that's better for this quick video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.